Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And this is gonna be an interesting little video here because we're gonna take this decimal and we're gonna write it as a fraction. And there's a good chance that you may not have learned this in your math class. Now, all of you out there should have learned how to convert a decimal into a fraction, but this is a different type of decimal. This little bar right here indicates this is a repeating decimal. So to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction is a different ball game altogether. And uh, if you're like, I don't think I rem uh, you know, learned this, well, it's entirely possible that that may be the case. But if you did learn this, it's probably the case that you totally forgot this. So I'm gonna say like 1% of you remember how to do this. But anyways, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then we're gonna talk about how to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure you check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 0.27 repeating, what is the fraction that is equivalent to this decimal? Well, let's take a look at that right now. It is three over 11, that is the answer. So if you have your calculator handy, take three and divide it by 11. And what you're going to get is a decimal 0.272727. This goes on and on and on. This pattern of these two sevens, they repeat. So we're not going to write this entire decimal. We're just going to go 0.27, and that is repeating. Now, this decimal here, this repeating decimal, 0 0.27 uh, repeating, is not the same as 0.27. So writing fraction or writing decimals like this, which are terminating decimals, in other words, uh, the digits stop, writing this as a fraction, that's very easy. Matter of fact, I'll uh, show you how to do this in just one second. But uh, writing uh, repeating decimals as a fraction, well, this is a different ball game altogether. And again, even if you were taught this, you probably forgot. So in terms of how important uh, this is, well, I don't know if it's like extremely important, but I do think it's very interesting. And uh, so don't feel so bad if you don't remember how to do this. But if you were able to get this right, that's super impressive. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice happy face and A++, like 150% and multiple stars. So you could tell your friends and family that you figured out a very interesting problem today, how to convert repeating decimals into fractions. You just never know when you'll have to do that. But anyways, nice job. Matter of fact, very impressive if you got this right. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the procedure. Okay, now before we look at how to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction, let's just take a look at terminating decimals. So I'm using these kind of descriptions about decimals. Now a terminating decimal is where the um, digits end, they terminate, right? So like 0.3, and then that's, that's all we have is 0.3. We don't have any more digits. So 0.25 is a terminating decimal, decimal, excuse me. So decimals like this and repeating decimals, terminating and repeating decimals always have a fraction equivalent, okay? Uh, these are what we call uh, rational numbers, numbers that can be expressed as fractions. Okay, so how do you, um, so just a quick review, how do we write 0.3 as a fraction? Of course, you can see the answer here. Well, the key is to write or to say this using its place value. So this three is in the tenths place. So we would just say this is three tenths. Okay, so some of you would say, well, how can we say this? How would you describe this decimal? You could say, ah, oh, that's 0.3 or three tenths. So we're using a place value. So three tenths, you just simply just write three tenths. And there you go. Now, Let's take a look at this um, uh, decimal here, 0.25, but we would say this using place value 25 hundredths, okay? And of course, we can reduce this fraction. So 0.25 is equal to the fraction 1 fourth, and 0.3 is equal to the fraction 3 tenths. Okay, so hopefully you know how to do that. As a matter of fact, you should always know how to convert a terminating decimal into a fraction. It's just so easy using place value, but uh, to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction is a different ball game. All right, so it's not overly say, difficult, but there is a kind of a, a, a unique procedure. 
And if you um, don't quite understand what I'm doing, you know, it's not the end of the world, but you know, if you're interested, well, let's go ahead and continue on. So here we have 0 0.27, 0 0.27, 0 0.27. This is a repeating decimal. So we're going to describe it as 0.27 with the bar over it. Okay. So here is the uh, procedure, right? So there is some fraction, okay, out there that exists that is equal to 0.27 repeating. So I'm going to establish a variable X. X will be our answer. Okay. So X is going to be that fraction that is equivalent to this. So in order to do this problem, you're going to have to know a little bit of algebra. Okay, so that's why, you know, when you study things like uh, converting decimals into fractions, it's kind of like middle school. But to do this, you're going to have to know some basic algebra. So that's why you know, a lot of you might, you know, totally forgot this or may not, again, uh, you may not even been uh, taught this. All right, so here's the deal. So now that I have this uh, number, this variable that represents this fraction that is equivalent to this repeating decimal, the key is you want to look at uh, the digit that ends in, uh, uh, let me see if I can describe this correctly. So we can see that the digits here that are repeating are two and seven. Okay, then two and seven repeat again, two and seven repeats again. So at this, the seven, Okay, is where the did our first digits uh, end. Okay, in other words, our repeating decimal 0.27 is repeating after the hundreds place. Okay, so this is the tenths place. This is the hundreds place. So on the hundreds place right here is where this uh, digit for this repeating decimal is kind of ending, and then it just repeats again. All right, so that's the first thing you want to do is look at the pattern. All right, 0 0.27, 0 0.27, or sorry, uh, 0 0.27, 27, 27, 27. So this repeating uh, decimal ends at the hundreds place. Okay, so hopefully, you know, I didn't mess that up. But if you understood that, then let's move on to the next step. So we want to keep that a hundreds uh, uh, place in mind, specifically 100. You'll see how we'll use this in just one second. Okay, so um, as we just talked about, this 7 is uh, 0.27 is where the repeating pattern ends. It's in the hundreds place. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that little um, uh, statement that we made, x is equal to 0.272727. Now here's the thing. I have the ellipses right there. Uh, it's not necessary to write all those ellipses. That means that that just continues on forever, okay? So at this point, what we can do is just write enough of these repeating um, uh, numbers, repeat, uh, this, uh, this pattern, write enough of this. I'm going to use three 27s, 27, 27. You could use four. It still would work out the same way. But um, so I'm going to use uh, 27 repeating three times. So 0.27, uh, 27, 27. Uh, so you, you you need to go more than than what you have right there. Uh, you can't just have a 0.27 here. You're going to have to write in a few extra 27s, right? So there's a little bit of discretion in there. And I'm kind of loosely explaining this. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so here we said x is equal to 0 0.27, uh, 2727, and this repeating pattern ends at the hundreds place, hundreds place, okay? So what that means is we're going to want to multiply both sides of this equation here, okay? And remember this equation we stated, hey, there's some fraction that's equal to this decimal. We're going to rep, uh, multiply both sides by 100. Okay. Now, when that, uh, what ends up happening is we're going to get we're going to get 100 x here, and then we're going to get 100 times 0.272727 is 27.2727. So simply, our decimal point moves over two places to the right. All right. So uh, if you're with me so far, let's continue on. Now, if you might be like, why are we doing this again? Just learn the procedure first, and then you can kind of later on get into more of the algebraic, you know, uh, justifications of what's going on. All right, so now here is the next step. So because the um, our repeating decimal ended on the hundreds place, we multiply both sides of that original equation by 100, and we end up with this. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going we're gonna to subtract our equation, this result right here, 100x is equal to 27.2727, we're going to subtract it from the original um, equation, or actually, we're going to, um, let me say that differently. Okay, that was incorrect what I just said. We're going to take that original uh, equation, 
that was x is equal to 0.2727 repeating. We're going to take that and we're going to uh, subtract that away from 100x equals 27.2727. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of speaking here. There's a lot of decimal places, but you can see what I'm saying here, uh, or you can see just visually what's going on. This was our original statement. Remember, x is equal to 0.2727. Now I'm going to subtract it away from both sides of the equation. Now, why can I do that algebraically? Well, remember in algebra, if you have an equation like x is equal to 7, I could, um, well, let's do something a little bit uh, better here. How about x plus 3 is equal to 7? So this is an equation. I can subtract or add whatever I want or multiply or divide whatever I want to both sides of the equation as long as it's the same uh, value. So here, if I wanted to subtract... 3 from this side of the equation, I could subtract 3 from this side of the equation. As long as it's the same number, I'm not breaking the equation, so x is equal to 4. So here, you might be saying, well, can we do this legally? Yes, remember we said that this is a fraction that is equal in amount to this decimal here. Okay, So these are the same values. Okay, So just get, you have to kind of think of it in those terms. And when we do this, we're going to end up with the following. Okay, So 100x minus x is 99x, and then when we have our 27.2727 minus 0.2727, we're going to end up with 27. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're doing a little math trick here to get rid of all these little decimal, um, repeating decimal uh, digits going on. So when we do that, look at what we uh, have here. We have 99x is equal to 27. Let's solve for x. Remember, x is that fraction, so we have to divide uh, both sides of the equation by 99, and we get 27 over 99, and we can reduce this fraction uh, into uh, 3 over 11. Okay, so just divide both the numerator and denominator by 9, and you get the fraction 3 over 11. So again, this could be very well a uh, kind of confusing problem, but try to come up with some, uh, you know, uh, repeating decimals yourself. Now, go into your calculator. Just take some numbers. In this case, you have 3 over 11. Don't, I would not try to do anything that's three digits or, or more right now to get this uh, uh, procedure down. Matter of fact, you can do things like one-third. You get uh, 0.33 uh, repeating or 0.3 repeating. You can practice uh, that procedure. But try to find decimals that are re, uh, repeat every two. Basically, try to do this problem with a um, same type of problem using a different fraction if you can find them. But if you have a decimal, it's like 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, and this repeats, I would stay away with, from problems like that right now because you're going to end up with very large fractions and a lot of reducing, and it's going to be very confusing. So if you really want to know how to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction, what you need to do is just you know review the procedure again in this video and then just practice, practice, practice. But again, this is not what I would call, you know, uh, super ultra critical math skill. Okay. Knowing how to convert a decimal, okay, terminating decimal into a fraction is an absolute must. But knowing how to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction, well, some of you might uh, see that on an exam, but some of you may not. Okay, so hopefully this video was interesting. By the way, if you want to learn more about basic mathematics and you want to go through like a quick refresher course, I would suggest checking out my Math Foundations uh, course. It's a three-chapter mini course. I go through place value if you're like, you know, the tenths, hundreds place. If you forgot all that stuff, I uh, teach that in a kind of real quick condensed, uh, you know, course on elementary, middle school level math. So it's place value, fractions decimals, basic multiplication, operations, divisions, all that kind of good stuff, percent. So you can check that out at my uh, Math Help program. But if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.